Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to burn a movie into your iTunes so you can watch it in your iPod or Apple TV or any Apple device. So let's begin. To start, you're going to need two programs, VLC, Media Player, and Handbrake. But unfortunately, I'm one of those people that get choppy video out of Handbrake, so I'm going to need a third program. So if you're one of those people that get choppy video from from uh, Handbrake, you can use DVD Decryptor. The link is in the description box, which is the same program I used. You'll see it in a little while. Once you download and install VLC Media Player, double click to run before you run Handbrake. Click on the play symbol and then click on the disk tab. Make sure you play the movie before you run Handbrake because sometimes even though it's installed it gives you errors when you run Handbrake. You don't have to play the full movie and by the way the movie is called My Super Ex-Girlfriend which is really funny. A few seconds is fine. Now we're ready to run Handbrake. When you open Handbrake just go to the left where it says Source and select the destination I'm sorry the location of your DVD movie. Once you have to select the location, it will automatically read it and give you the presets. Now here, you're going to select for which device you're going to play it in. If you select Apple TV, it's a different preset. For example, here the width is 720. If I select iPod, it'll change it to 320 by 240. So I'm going to leave it as Apple TV. That's the device I'm going to use it for. And before we click on start, I'm going to watch a preview because I don't want to burn a two hours of choppy video. Click on preview and then play with the VLC program we just downloaded. Now this is going to record a preview on my desktop. Ah, VLC crashed. Why am I not surprised? Even though it crashed, I can still run it with Windows Media Player from the desktop. So I'm going to close here. Here, the destination, my desktop. Right here. So I'm going to play and see if I get choppy video. Double click to play with the default Media Player. I knew it. Choppy video. I guess I'm one of those people too, right? So now, what I did to solve this was use DVD Decryptor. Now, if you if you would have clicked on Start, it'll last like two hours to burn that movie into your folder, and then it takes, uh, and then you would have recorded two hours of choppy videos. That's why you click the preview. Now, I downloaded here DVD Decryptor which is also in the description box. Make sure you download and install. Once you have it installed, then create a new folder called movie or you can call it whatever you like. Run it and when you run it, it's going to automatically read the DVD and give you the uh, encryption. Now click OK to decrypt the video and then select the uh, destination. The destination is going to be that folder that we created called movie. So once it decrypts it, it's going to put it there. Here it is, movie. Now, if you see like movie 2, movie 1, in the bottom here, that's because I tested before I, I created the video. So click OK and then click on the play between the uh, DVD and hard drive and this lasts like 5 to 10 minutes perfect now it has successfully decrypted my DVD into that folder click OK Keep in mind, DVD Decrypted does not decrypt all uh, DVD movies, okay? 
now here it is I'm gonna double click perfect I have all my VOB file here which is the same as a DVD but it's decrypted now let's run handbrake again and instead of going to the drive we're going to click on source instead of going here to the drive we're gonna go to the folder which is this one here and then browse for your folder movie right here and click OK now here we're gonna do the same we're gonna click on preview so that way we don't record a two hours of choppy video now I'm gonna delete the previous one to prevent confusion nothing here now I'm gonna click preview and then play with VLC again I hope it doesn't crash this time here is creating the uh, the preview ah it crashed again well doesn't matter I'm gonna cancel this and close the program and now I'm gonna run it with Windows Media Player here it is perfect I have no choppy videos just a few seconds and it's perfect For now from here I can decide I can tell that now if I click on start it's going to give me a full good you know two hours of good video so now remember select your destination browse for your destination you can even change instead of movie one here like it says here I'm gonna change it to the name the proper name which is my super ex-girlfriend remove the dash because I have already created one that was the test and then click start now it's going to uh, convert that folder that we created called movie into an M4V file so uh, iTunes can read it but I have already created one so I'm gonna close here stop this and close it here this is the movie from the DVD it converted to an M4V file now I wanna use this uh, poster in the iTunes I downloaded that one from Google so just open iTunes and in the iTunes all you need to do is just drag the movie into the movie uh, library and there it is now if I want to add the poster all I need to do is right click on the movie click on get info then click on artwork tab click add and then browse for the poster that I downloaded from Google which is around 500 pixels by 800 pixels here it is double click and then click OK perfect it changed the uh, the poster and it also changed the poster on my source on the uh, location now all we need to do is double click to play remember this computer that I'm running is a remote desktop so if you see like it freezes a little bit is because I'm running too many programs so you can watch this movie 
If you have any questions, please feel free to post them on the comment section below. Thank you.